Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and we have a very cool unboxing for you today. It's a box full, well not super full, there's only a few figures in it, so it's not a huge unboxing or anything. But it was something that I thought was really cool, as I just purchased a few Dino Riders figures, the Tyco Dino Riders. Figures were a very, very important part of dinosaur figure history and I don't have all that many of them and I would love to start to get more of them so I saw an opportunity as far as someone had a listing of some dinosaur toys as they put it uh, fairly locally and it was only about 20 bucks for all of them which isn't really all that many figures again but for the fact that they are dino riders they're a really really cool very rare line of dinosaur figures that can you know run you a bit much in price so i was really happy to be able to acquire a few different dino riders figures for only around the 20 dollar range it also came with a few other figures which are these guys right here and this guy right here i think this is some sort of a mcdonald's figure i don't know much about that at all i also don't really know exactly what these guys are i mean obviously this is a lizard here that we have they're definitely nothing special as far as the figures go. It's nothing that I would say was a great deal to have included. We've got kind of like a little Rampharynchus type of a figure here. Nothing special with that guy either. And then there's also kind of like a little rubber, sort of a goofy looking dinosaur. Not entirely sure who he's even meant to represent. And then there was also this kind of a Pteranodon, sort of bendable Pteranodon. He's very strange, very goofy looking. He's got kind of like bendable legs. Definitely not the best figure either, but all of these guys were also included. Oh wait, we've also got this guy back here. He was hiding. So we've got a little Dimetrodon as well. Nothing special with any of these, but they were included, so I figured I would show you guys. But now we get to the good stuff, and that would be the Dino Riders figures. So the first one that we have in here is the Dimetrodon, and I do actually have the Dimetrodon, so... This is an extra now, and I am happy to have numerous of a few of these, as anytime I can get doubles of something as rare as a Dino Riders figure, I'm definitely excited about it. And I overall, I'm a very big fan of this particular sculpt of the Dino Riders line. Like, I really like the Dimetrodon from this line, and although this one definitely has some paint where you can see some paint chips and everything are taken off of it, it's still in fairly decent shape. The kind of biting feature actually still works and everything so really cool figure that I'm happy to add a second of into my collection and then there is also the Styracosaurus which is also a figure that I already had as far as the Dino Riders figures go still a really nice looking figure overall definitely a fan of this Styracosaurus and this one's actually in pretty good shape I mean you could definitely see some paint wear on the spikes and stuff of the Styracosaurus, but overall it doesn't look like he's got anything horrible going on as far as paint wear goes and again another figure that I did have but I'm happy to have a second of regardless especially again being a Dino Riders figure. We also have this Pterosaur that was included which I do believe I already have potentially. I think I got this one in that really cool box that I had where I scored a bunch of really cool very rare figures for a good price and I think this one was in there so I may now have two of that one but I'm not positive positive. and the other figure that I did already have would be the Deinonychus which is a pretty fun figure this guy unfortunately now I knocked him over but this guy unfortunately does have the tail broken off and that is one aspect of these figures again they're not in the greatest shape and there's actually one dinosaur in here I didn't have that I was really happy to add to my collection and unfortunately quite a bit of it is broken which I wasn't aware of previously because the images of the actual figures were like really blurry I couldn't really see exactly what was going on in the images but again this one I do have so I don't mind the missing tail that missing tip of the tail I'm happy to have another of it regardless even with the break in the tail because it's a Deinonychus why would you not want a pack of Deinonychus and Maybe I'll pick up some more at some point in the future and actually create a legit pack of them. But for now, I'm pretty happy with this one and the other one that I have that's in pretty good shape. And now as far as the figures that I definitely did not have, as far as the Dino Riders figures go, there is another figure in here that I did already have that's not even a Dino Riders figure. But you can see I got a really cool Pteranodon as far as the Tycho figures go, the Dino Riders figures go. He's definitely not the best as far as the 
Dino Riders sculpts or anything, but still a pretty fun looking Pteranodon. He's got some pretty decent articulation and stuff to him, and it's definitely a figure that I did not have prior to this, so I'm really happy to now have. And then there is also the Ankylosaurus, which is one that I also did not have, and I'm really happy to now have included in my collection. And this one's actually in pretty good shape for the most part. I don't really even see any like paint chips or anything really. I mean, maybe some small ones, but nothing that I feel like is a big issue for the figure. So really happy that this guy is in pretty decent shape. Unfortunately, they don't have any of like the seats or anything that go on the figures except for one, but I also don't have any of the Rulons or the Valerians or anything like that. So something that I'll have to look for in the future. But here is one of the biggest figures that was included, probably the biggest actually, aside from that one figure that I said I did have, which I will show you in just a second. But this is the one that was also broken, which is really a big bummer because when I had kind of seen like this one sitting within the group, I thought, wow, that's the Edmontonia from the Dino Riders line. Like I really wanted to get it, although it's not the figure. There's two figures in here that I really wanted more than anything else. And those ones are in pretty good shape. So I am still happy about it. But you can see that the spikes here on the side of the Edmontonia are broken. Quite a bit of them. You can see these guys here are broken. These two are broken. And then the opposing side is even worse. So obviously whoever had these figures did play with them. Which makes sense. They did have a good time with them. And I'm really happy to have it regardless. Even with the breaks in it. And maybe if... Eventually, I might pick another one up. Who knows? We'll just have to wait and see if a good price for one, you know, arises. I may pick it up again just because I would like to add one that's in really good shape into my collection. But I'm really happy to have it regardless. And it's a really nice looking figure. Shockingly much nicer than I expected it to be, which is something that happens quite often with the Dino Riders figures that they end up showing up and being way nicer than I thought they would be. But the other figure that was included that I did have, which is not a Dino Riders figure, is the Kenner Young Rex, which is a really nice score regardless, but I have a bunch of these guys at this point, and I need to start repainting some. I've really wanted to repaint one for a while, but it just seems like everything just gets in the way. Other things come up, other paintwork, sometimes commissions, sometimes just models and stuff that I need to get done, or just life in general always gets in the way of me repainting one of these guys, but I'm definitely going to get one repainted very soon unfortunately it doesn't have the battle damage wound so every single time i seem to get one of these they're always missing the battle damage wound you can see this one definitely has like some paint and stuff on him you can see some up here on the top of the neck as well so i don't mind repainting him since he's already a little bit scuffed up a little bit messed up but still an awesome figure to get included even if it's something i wasn't really looking for and now the final two figures that are included are the two that I wanted the most from this set. And luckily, they're both in quite nice shape. The first one is the Dino Riders plus Sirius. It is a figure I was really, really excited about finding in this lot because it's something that's kind of been on my wish list for a while. There are so few plus Sirius figures out there. And I thought it looked really cool from all the images that I had seen online. But it's one of those figures that I thought I'm probably not going to get because it's just a little bit too pricey and I don't know that I'll ever get around to actually aiming all my attention on just getting a hold of that figure. And uh, luckily for me, the figure had shown up on this lot, so I don't really need to search for it anymore, of course. And it's a really beautiful looking figure overall. Definitely a very exciting addition to my collection. And the final figure and the one that I wanted the most may not be the most exciting for most people, but for me it was, and that is the Struthiomimus. I would say this and the Placerius were my two most wanted figures from the Dino Riders line, and now having them both in one shot is really exciting. This one, again, you can see does have that kind of area for the person to sit in on the back, but unfortunately I don't have any of the Rulons or Valerians or anything like that to add to my collection or put on the dinosaurs. But either way, I was really, really happy to score the Struthiomimus. I think it's one of the nicest looking Dino Riders figures of all time, as is the Placerius. And you can see this one's still in really nice shape. In fact, it doesn't really look like it has too many paint chips, maybe some very, very small ones. But for the most part, it is a really beautiful figure in really nice shape. So these are my newest additions to my collection as far as the Dino Riders figures go. 
really really awesome stuff i'll have to keep my eyes out keep kind of searching out more dino riders figures in the future and add more to my collection over time as there are still quite a few that i would need to get a hold of actually a ton that i would need to get a hold of but still some pretty darn cool stuff regardless so make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching